we'll, we'll go with Vici. Ben okay. was smart last time. Wait, I would jump ship for Javici. Okay. I want to be with Heads Ben. Heads up, guys. Alliance vs. Fnatic is on Dota Major 2. We're going to go straight to the game because it's over to Game 2 of Vici Gaming versus Team Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about some very strong defensive pushing supports, the Abaddon, the Goblack, uh, Triad Protector came to mind, we even discussed Dazzle, but now we see why they wanted the Lich, they got the Frost Armor here, and the old Roshan, he's dropping quickly, Spirit trying to cheese Vici Gaming into the lower bracket, and it looks like it's working. I mean, no clue. they could have just picked anything to, to do this draft. They don't really need the, the lich we mentioned. We were talking about during the game, during the draft. That could might have been for their hero. They needed a defensive support to deal with the corners here. And Dazzle would have also allowed them to do the Roshan. But just basically the core heroes were able to do the Roshan itself. And it's working. They grab the agent. Nobody even in the neighborhood. They got one of the bounty runes here as well. Always want to fly. We'll start with the bottle. Iceberg grabs the ages. Ramsey's. He's gonna be changing things up here as the Beastmaster, and he'll be heading all the way up. Out the double stack, very simply. They're moving up in the river as well, trying to find the opening here. They get the roar up, and Ice 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 up on the high ground. Goblike like there, hits the chain frog, ready, but he time walks almost everything off. Instantly TP's out, and on the other side of the fight, Iceberg, Demolition Crew, comes driving by, cleans up Fender on the Witch Doctor, as Ice 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 winds himself on the run. Doesn't end up making his way out, and now he's in a lot of danger. The chain frog can't get that TP, and... He's gonna have to run for it. Afterlife cutting off the path of the tree. He's got one more time walk, and then the mana's pretty much gone. It's looking bad for Daryl. Into the trees he goes, stalling, but they're breaking base in the top lane while this is happening. Iceberg with the GD root. Who cares about it? Don't even need to kill him. This is the GD guy. He's not that out. They don't have to kill him. Look at that here. Three power. He's got 850 damage to it. Just a couple of auto attacks. Man, at this rate, you have no need to go for the base of the tree. You don't kill him. You don't have to kill him. You don't have to kill him. You don't have to kill him.